stop, stop. The random woos are just depressing at a certain point. <laughs> After a while, it just starts to sound like you're at the zoo or something. Ooh, ow, ow! <laughs> well, on the show, we have, uh... Oh, it's a, it's a sweet one tonight, isn't it? I don't know. Uh... <laughs> I don't know. I was asking. I was not telling. No, we have a very, very, very good show tonight. Very thrilled. We got great guests. We have uh, some special things planned. And uh, big news. Start off the show. You may not be aware of this, but according to the Wall Street Journal, and they're usually right, uh, there is... <laughs> that wasn't a slam. I just... <laughs> that Wall Street Journal. <laughs> Conan nailed him. No, according to the Wall Street Journal, they're, you know, they're very good. There is credible evidence that Saddam Hussein is still alive. Yeah. Yeah, apparently, apparently officials made this determination the other night after Saddam called in and voted for Rubin. Big uh, sports news. I couldn't believe this. Yesterday, high school basketball star, he's high school basketball star, LeBron James, signed a $90 million sneaker contract with Nike. $90 million. Yeah, yeah, this deal makes James the youngest black Republican in America. <laughs> Think about it. He just immediately, they gave him a good check. Uh, anyone here watch the, uh, the Bachelor? You ever watch that show? Oh, this joke will do great then. <laughs> wow, most of the crowd, what is it? I don't know. Uh, well, anyway, Andrew Firestone of The Bachelor, he was The Bachelor. Andrew Firestone uh, and the winner, Jen Sheft, have only been together for a few days, but they're already talking about having children. That's sweet. Yeah. Yeah, Firestone says they'll try for triplets, and then he'll pick the best one. <laughs> pick one and take it, and then rest get tossed. Uh, <clears throat> According to USA Today, they're never right, actually. <laughs> According to USA Today, there is a new clothing line that names its jeans after rock stars like Bob Dylan, Stevie Nicks, and Mick Jagger. That's right. That's right, yeah, the jeans come in large, extra large, and meatloaf. Okay, it was big in the late 70s. Uh, you the crowd here. Oh, well, I don't know who that is. <laughs> wow, uh, I'm getting old. <laughs> when I was a kid, that was all rad. Um, it was reported today it's reported today that when Michael Jackson checked into a hospital this week, there was nothing really wrong with him. He just, quote, felt bad. Yeah. Yeah, not surprisingly, the doctor told him, you should feel bad, you're Michael Jackson. That's the statement. And I thought... Meatloaf was a big, fat guy. And in, like, 1978 or something, oh, wow! If I could get in a time machine and go back. That joke. All right. <laughs> Let it go, Conan. Let it go. We've got a great show tonight. Now, I, we've never had a great show, and tonight is going to be great. I'm telling you why. Uh, very uh, talented, sexy stars on the show tonight from the movie The Italian Job. Charlize Theron is on the show. Drop dead, gorgeous, that woman. We also have, uh, you know him from National Lampoon's Van Wilder, as well as from the show Two Guys and a Girl. Uh, he was one of the guys. His new movie is The In-Laws. Ryan Reynolds is on the show. Yeah, I like this show. I wasn't going to watch tonight's show, but now that I see... And then, musical guest tonight, Long Wave, going to perform... And right over here, trying his hardest to seduce you with his leopard skin guitar strap, Jimmy Vivino in the Maxa Weinberg 7. Jimmy.
I always like to do a little robot dancing before we do the show. That's my process. That's how I work. That gets me in the mood. Thank you, gentlemen. That was nice. Um,